My name is RM. I'm a songwriter, rapper, and the leader of a South Korean pop group, BTS. Um, like synesthetic experiences, visual art has helped me to um, develop unique textures of sound and edit depth, um, some sort of depth to my music, I guess. And the habit of thinking in different senses and dimensions has also inspired me a lot. Um, I, had a, I had a trip last year um, to the U.S. To last December. Diga Beacon was one of my um, main wish list destinations. And I was really into these um, the 60s and through 70s artworks by the artists here like so much. And the sunlight you know, through the space and the movement inside the building that leads from one art to another, the basement, um, everything was so beautiful and perfect. Um, I've heard that, um, that I, I think I saw it on, a, on an article that Richard Serra's big sculptors was one of the main reasons that like, when first the DAV was founded, and as I have always admired his sculptures in various places, such as Glenstone and Lakhmal, I absolutely wanted to do a live performance along his artworks in Diabikum because his artworks are kind of like a, the symbol of here of, of this place, as I think. And when I first got to know um, John Chamberlain, was I was fascinated by the idea of how um, tough, you know, the steel or or cars could be transformed into an actual sculpture. I found it very refreshing, and the song Still Life talks about the thought of a still life being still alive inside the frames. And I thought the song could resonate with the artwork perfectly because you know, it's a whole kind of um, transformation, like something into something. And I always find the you know, fluorescent lights of Flavin's works like, so captivating. His works have the power to transform um, his lamps, have a greater pr presence in this LED world you know, that we live in today. To me personally, D.B. Kun was a magical place at the end of a train trip from New York City, the Grand Central Station. And such a charming place even for those who may be you know, fresh and new to art. Because I would say, like, Sarah um, Flavin's galleries had the biggest impact on me, even if you don't know about art. The windows that let the sunlight in, you know, Robert Arne, and the way the light touches the surface of the artworks, it's just, uh, um, it's just, visually um, amazing and there was a box printing factory that turned into a beautiful space that inspires people like I don't know isn't it just like fascinating